if I was God. If I was God, I too would create a universe if one did not exist. An act that could not state with honesty or accuracy could be motivated by anything other than my want. A place necessarily born through my desire to create it, and not for the purpose, benefit or function of anything within it, for all else is simply the product. An unbelievably powerful act, but only viewed with anthropocentrism in your eyes. To me, it would not be powerful or anything else. It would do nothing to denote my strength, for I and it would have nothing of contrast. As all adjectives concerning me and mine must die in my incomparable void, it would simply be an act of which I am capable. I too would create stars and planets and oceans and time and matter, but will do so in perfect knowledge of their inevitability. Life will be created not by the click of my fingers or the plucking of ribs, but in the same way all the universe emerges, through the meticulous reordering of energy and matter. Everything constructed with character, stewarded by laws and rules to distinguish it. Gravity attracting, time flowing, atmosphere generating, life breathing, life decaying. Simplicity becoming complex, inevitably and slowly. Slow to you, but an instant to me, as the last moment of time was fashioned in the same instance as the first. Time appearing as a mystical, unpredictable force, but is as prescribed as the mass of particles and the force of gravity. It is not distinct, but is ingrained within everything. Future and past, sharing with dimension and colour and temperature and all else. A perfect arena in which infinite possibilities appear obvious, yet I know not to be true. Only an incompetent watchmaker could create a watch and be surprised by its function. If I was God, I could not escape the knowledge of my design. Life hasn't invented the wheel, or cars, or computers. They are points that have been arrived at, as water arrives at the sea by following its nature. But life will continue with glee to unearth and piece together the building blocks laid out following an enthusiastic path of preordination and instinct. If I was God, I would not contemptibly create a life that I know would inevitably do as I designed it to, then punish it for doing so. I would not extend punishment to all who follow, generation after indebted generation. I would not entrap stooges in a desperate attempt to convince people of myself. I would not appear to people in one discreet part of the world then rely upon flawed, fallible natures to disseminate my apparent word. An edited word that can flip between literal and metaphorical depending on need and interpretation. I would not visit you, adorned as flesh and blood to evoke your emotion, or blackmail those who draw caution, or reward those who don't. Emotions and belief change, but they are not choices. They are inevitable products of programming and environment. The universe I create would manifest many species throughout its process, one not being inherently superior to the other, but simply being of a different branch. All species exhibiting and exploiting niches in my world, but the journey is a convoluted one. In one instance, a species will find favour and fortune within the environment. The next, they will languish terminally behind, but they will all be connected. Despite the objective parity, some will arrive at the ability to place themselves at the centre of my creation, but they are not. I would offer no greater bias or favouritism to them than I would to any jewel of energy or arrangement of atoms within my creation. If I was God, I would not be impressed by or find favour with demonstrations of ritual nor commitment to credulity. I will not become teary-eyed and succumb to the impassioned pleas of the dying and persecuted not because I wish to see suffering, or to sadistically toy, but because the concept is vacuous. Morality and emotion is cultivated by brains and bodies throughout life's journey. It is important, but only if you are embedded in life's interactions. Why would I exist as anything more than an impassive entity? A human in all but my ability to create existence and to provide answer when one is yet to be found. Morality is a perspective it cannot be enshrined in stone, but will sway and move as time moves. It comes from the blueprint of interactions with others over the entirety of evolution. 
If I was God, acts would have to manifest, inevitably, nothing more. This is the nature of the universe. Energy must transfer and will do so without prejudice or discrimination. If I was God, I would question my own existence. I would question why an infinite universe had not preceded me. I'd question why I preferred to instigate a universe that maintained nothingness. A universe in which I could be offered no surprises and will remain impassive towards. If I was God, I'd be perplexed to the necessity of my purpose. If I was God, I probably wouldn't exist.